Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Scarborough Country, the Virus Edition, aka the Pandy Pods, aka two mics, no bikes, aka five star chaps who spar saps on Sklar maps. Thank you, Mike Huddleston, aka Boom. Old Zealand, aka, AKA the hu- aka guy, the aka guy, aka Huddletron. Love it, love all these. Someone else sent some other ones in, and we're just we should just write them down as soon as they come in. Because they're just so gosh darn fun. I we love when people it. AKA us. I just love it. I just love every minute of it. Um, Maybe hashtag it something so we can uh, find yeah, it. Hashtag, uh, a- hashtag it AKA, AKA Sklar Bro. That's it. AKA, AKA Sklar Bro. Like AKA Pablo. Hashtag it AKA Sklar Bro. And then we'll be able to find them immediately. I love it. All right. Uh, shall we jump into it right Let's away? Let's jump into the story. Uh, you know, this is uh, Tuesday. Midweek, right? right? Or right. as we're heading into the middle of this week. Yep. Uh, we're barreling towards an election, which is- Are we? That's kind of. Really... I mean, we're mid-September. <laughs> I know. Um, we're barreling towards perhaps end of days. Or yeah, we a, are. And or maybe a turnaround as like let me as just, the West Coast burns. Yeah, let me just say that the, the, the directive to wear a mask and be smart is- That hasn't changed at all. Right. We're, 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 we still need to do that. Right. And I just read something today, and we can talk about this in one sure. of our stories, sure. actually in the first story that we get into, yeah. uh, that there's a <laughs> – I mean, this to me is the ultimate F you to anyone who tries to use this against wearing masks. Mm-hmm. There's a report out now that says exposure to a little bit of the COVID virus. It's a little bit of the COVID. Just a little bit of COVID. A child sneeze of the COVID. A little bit of the COVID is good. It's actually good for you because most people who get exposure to only a little bit, they're saying those people come off asymptomatic. You immunize to it. It actually mirrors what a vaccine would do. So a mask would maybe expose you to just a little bit. A, ma- a, ma- so a even child if a- sneeze of even, the COVID. So even if you're not... Yes, a mask, certain masks don't get rid of everything, but they get rid of the full-fledged yeah, droplets. The, you're not going to get droplets straight in your up. mouth if you have a mask and someone else has a mask. But maybe a little bit gets to you. Maybe you don't show you're asymptomatic, and maybe that's how you develop the antibodies. So if anything, that's even more of an argument for wearing masks. Just put it on. Just put it on, guys. And here's a story that kind of re- okay. basically explains why that is just, important. Just because you got a gold medal for beach volleyball for, in the Olympics doesn't mean – you get a gold medal for intelligence. Or science. Or science yeah. or anything. Yeah. The Olympics, more than anything else, I've more than any other sport, yeah. that sells the hero game, right? Well, because the hero status. There's nothing else. You're not gonna make money off the Olympics, Correct. except unless if you get an endorsement. But I was try I was really trying to think about this yeah. as I was digging into this story. And it's of course tied into jingoistic feelings. It's America. It taps That's, into an old tribal yeah. our country versus your, your country, country. Our uh, anthem versus your anthem. That's like why Tommy Smith and John Carlos putting their fists up in the air. That was such a huge, huge moment because they had trained for four years today and they won. What was more embarrassing than the Nazis that they lost to Jesse Owens? Yeah. That, that like was, defeated their entire basically like, thesis. Dis- it disproved their thesis in right. such a beautiful way. So nowhere but in war and sports can can you determine a clear winner. Yeah. Oh, well, also maybe in COVID deaths. In a, yeah, in death tolls, sure. But mostly war and sports are the two arenas where clear-cut winners yep. are set out there yep. and they're determined between two countries. Right. And if you're a successful Olympic athlete, you get to put the whole country on your back. Carry them across the finish line, up on the podium. It feels good. Everyone loves Carrie Strug. Everyone remembers that. Everyone loves Simone Biles, right? Except Everyone, for her old coach. Except for her old coach, who's an asshole. Yeah. Everyone loved Eric Haydn when yeah. he was good. Do you know that Haydn went in and became like a, he tried to cycle the Tour de France. That's amazing. Like the 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 bug to, co- to continue to compete, he couldn't continue to swim, so he became a cyclist. I mean, he, he never finished it. He actually crashed in the Tour was de France. Was he a swimmer or he was a speed skater? Speed skater. Speed skater. Speed okay. skater. Everyone loved Nancy Kerrigan. Sure. Skater. Well, everyone except. Well, one person. All right. So USA. Well, three people. Three people. USA gets chanted. Like when that gets up there That's and that a gets big channeled, deal. And the medals get racked deal. up. Everyone in our country, we all band together, we root for our competitors. It's not 
that way for all athletes. Okay. Think about Michael Jordan. Yeah. Now everyone loves Michael Jordan. Everyone loves it. You talk to Pistons fans about Michael Jordan. You're going to get a very different story than everywhere else. They hated Chicago hate Bulls. Fan. They, they hated, hated Jordan. Sure. Because every He's other. stiff their guy. Well, right. So every other sport outside of the Olympics, it's about your town. It's about your region. It's about your part of the state. If it's That's a college right. football team. So one man's hero is another woman's, woman's villain. villain. There you go. But not with the Olympics. And I make all this point. That because I think this is why Olympic athletes feel emboldened. Why they're given maybe a little more leeway. Correct. Mm -hmm. Why they feel like they're above the law. They feel like they can do whatever they want to do because they got the whole nation. Like Carly Lloyd probably won't do this, but she probably in the back of her mind is like, if I murdered someone, I'd be okay. I could stab someone. I'd be all right. I could stab someone. Maybe not murder, but stab. Stab someone. I could stab someone. With a screwdriver. Who's the guy, the Ryan Lochte who like kicked in the door? He's like, I can kick in a door. And then he couldn't kick in a door. He couldn't kick in a door. And then but like still. the United States were like, you're essentially swimming Gronk. We're right. not going to support you. So they get the benefit of the doubt is right. what they think. Enter, Enter Carrie, Carrie Walsh, Walsh Jennings, Jennings, Olympic gold medalist in beach volleyball. Because mm-hmm. she can now add D-bag to her long list of accomplishments. She can. Yeah. And I would identify her as such. So she bragged on Instagram, which I guess is appropriate. That's where it's you great. go to brag about go, stuff is Instagram. Not? Yeah. Uh, of all the social media, Instagram does feel like the most. That's the one you want to brag the that's most That's the one on. you want to brag mm-hmm. on, right? It's you put it's on very a good fire filter. festival And it also feels the most fitting for a woman's volleyball. Beach volleyball champion. Beach volleyball yeah. champion. Yes, sure. yes. She used, she used to be on the beach. She used to high angles, high angle shots. Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Walsh, Jennings bragged, Walsh Jennings bragged on Instagram how proud she was of herself for shopping in the world without a mask. She's proud of herself for doing that. Uh, Why are you proud of yourself? What are you proud of? You, what, I would be like, I forgot my mask and I have to go get. I'm these. embarrassed, but I got through it. Like if you want to say, I put my that, shirt over my mouth and I figured out a way to get through. We all got to figure out ways to get through it. First, or I turned around and drove no, home no, and no, got no. my this mask. This is all pride. Okay, she. Her big picture is a Ralph uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson quote. On the post. You know how, like, if Ralph Waldo Emerson was alive, he'd be like, please quote please me on Please put me on an anti-masking, yeah. Yeah, let me be on. co-opted on Instagram, sure. please. Please, that's sure. what I want. So this was the quote. Let's your the genuine quote. action will explain itself and will explain your other genuine actions. Your conformity will explain nothing. It's a great quote. It's a good quote. Doesn't apply to what she did. No, not in any way, shape, or form. Is that funny when someone uses a quote one way yeah. and it can be so yeah. easily used against yeah. them in another exactly. way. Exactly. That's like, not what he was intending well, at all. Well, but isn't it. fighting the mask order and following right-wing talking points, isn't that its another own form, form of, of conformity. conformity? It is. Right? Yeah. I mean, isn't that what that is? You're conforming to the views of the president of the United States and it all of his It doesn't get more problems. conformist and mainstream no. than the president of the United no, States. No, it doesn't. So be careful about using a wise man's words. When you are, are an idiot. Yeah. Right? When you're an idiot, it doesn't work. They'll eventually get... Turn it's a double, double-edged sword, dummy. And then it'll stab you. That's right. Then she wrote r- below the quote, this is going to be a long post and it's going to upset some people. Okay. I hate that. Translation, Translation is, I'm right. And if people are upset, that's on you. You're going to get upset. That's in the, in the apology of sorry you were upset I'm by sorry what I did. I'm sorry what I did upset you so much. All right. Here we go. Let me put the onus on you. Here we go. I had a little exercise in being brave yesterday, and I'm still a bit edgy about it. What? I went shopping without a mask on three weird emojis. And this is why. I read this quote the other day, and it shook me. This has not been enforced. It has been consented all consented to. First of all, good for you for shopping at a time like this. Yeah. You must feel really good about going out and shopping at a time did, when you could be like donating your time otherwise. That's to right. I mean, that's what Gandhi did when he felt... He loved to shop. He, <laughs> when he was like, I mean, what is the old famous Indian stand up comedy bit? Gandhi be, be shopping. shopping. Right? Gandhi be shopping all the time, man. Yeah. That dude, sandals. Well, he's not captain, eating. He's captain. not He's not eating. So <laughs> he's got to do something to fill his time. Brother be shopping. Gandhi be shopping. So what does the statement mean? I don't understand it. It has it, been enforced. It has been enforced. And it's being enforced to protect people. She's saying it's not been enforced. It's only been conformed to. I Look, I went to the doctor yeah. the other day. Yeah. I had an insane medical scare in my life. I felt my ball in the morning and I felt some growth on it. All right? And I was terrified and I was really thinking, okay, this is the beginning of the end. This is how you get testicular cancer. I freaked out. I went to the doctor's office. I had my own mask. 
They gave me another mask to wear over my mask. That's the doctor's office. The place the that's place where they take care of you. To take care of you and make you feel. So they enforced a mask on a mask. They want everyone to be wearing masks. Yeah. That's enforcement. Not because they get off on the power of telling people to wear it. Not because they don't want you to be brave and not wear it. So they want us to be safe. All right. So go ahead, Carrie, you idiot. You know who else was brave? Mel Gibson. Yeah. And we saw how that worked out. Okay. So she continues. It's brave uh, heart. This statement woke me up and the truth of it has had me obsessing on the matter of how I can mindfully and compassionately stand up for my rights and for the freedoms of our constitution. We don't you, need you, you to stand up for the, the Constitution. By the way, you don't get to argue for the Constitution if you're following something that this president is telling you to do. He doesn't give a shit about the he Constitution. Doesn't. He so does not. you don't then get to have it both ways. You can say the Constitution is a piece of garbage and the guy I support thinks Agrees. the same thing. And, we're, and so we're, we're going to tra- new Constitution. We're going to trample all over it because we don't care about the rights of everybody and equality and any of that stuff. So you can do it that way. So, I don't give a shit about people. Fine. He's but you granted can't, us all without being reckless or putting anyone else in you danger. You are reckless. You are putting you people, are people in, danger. in danger. and you are reckless, dummy. Even if, stupid even, idiot. even if you aren't necessarily doing it, you're put, are you putting people more in danger by not wearing a mask or wearing a mask? Ask yourself that. That's the basic question you have to ask yourself. Are you putting people more at danger? Is there a greater risk that you could put someone in danger without a mask than with a mask? Just, just face that so question. Play the odds. If you serve the ball a certain way over the net. How about this? How if about- you serve it a certain way over the net and it goes to the way people bump it versus setting it, are the percentages better? How about how about this? How about this? If you stand on the beach volleyball court as opposed to standing on the sidelines when the other person's serving, which option has a better chance of you winning not a guarantee you're gonna win no but i'd say the one where you're standing in the court yeah and actually can make a play on the shot we are all this is her continuing we are all endlessly complaining about the restrictive and arbitrarily selective rules why is it arbitrary it's not arbitrary there's nothing arbitrary about it no this is based on science dummy that we're being science is arbitrary that we're being strongly suggested to follow and yet we are all consenting not much of a fight just a lot of complaining and strongly disagreeing with this manipulation but we keep consent it's not a manipulation it's not manipulation it's It's not. It's you're, smart. You're, you've taken too many spikes to the head, lady. You're being manipulated in the other way. You're, and you're you, queuing on talking points, dummy. Wh- what is the? Uh, this is what I want to. Who is ask. manipulating who? This is what I want to ask. This is what I want to get to. What is the point of the manipulation? What is the end goal of the manipulation? To sell masks? Is this a, this this is just to for someone to make millions of dollars on masks? So one who, person. So one company is is responsible for all the masks, and one person is putting it out there. All the money's going, I guess, to Bill Gates for the masks. This was it, even though it's a bunch of other companies that are yeah, doing it and yeah. not one specific place. So if he can get rich and he already has enough money that he doesn't need to worry about money for the rest of his life. So then I guess if we follow this logic, then when a vaccine comes out for this, you're not going to take that either because you, you don't, don't want to conform. You don't want to conform. You don't want to conform. So, that, that, but, that'd be, you're being manipulated into taking a what vaccine. What is the goal? What is the goal of the manipulation? You think people are going to say, hey, if we can get them to wear masks, we could get them to bow Agreed down. To socialism? Social, I don't, what, what is the next step? I never heard what people uh, are wait, worried wait. about. If we get them to agree to masks, then maybe we'll uh, reform the police departments and you're worried about that happening? So, so like most nut jobs, mm-hmm. this crazy lady mm-hmm. has no answer. No. That's what crazy conspiracy theorists, they, all they can do is bring up their crazy thing. And then the second you poke one tiny hole and you'd be like, no answer. what's the, okay, they don't have an answer. They're, she writes, it's maddening. It has crushed our society. People's livelihoods has and children's- Has it crushed our society? The, the asking to put on a mask has not crushed society. In fact, it's allowed society to come back a little bit. Right. What's crushed society is people not listening initially and being concerned about what's going on. If we would have shut every Everything down for real shut everything down for a month for eight weeks yeah remember how short eight weeks seems compared to where we are right now nine months in yeah we become a country and a world estranged from each other and it's more deeply unhealthy than any virus can be no That's it's not. not no it's not being estranged from By each way, other for a temporary period of time is not as dangerous as a deadly virus it's no, not how is being estranged from people killed two hundred thousand people can you tell me that? We are four hundred thousand by the end of the year. We are making a. Te- this is it. We are. I'm saying this. We're making a temporary sacrifice, so hopefully we can come out on the other side sooner. Look, I, I, this is her next thing, and this is it. 
And this is so manipulative of her. She says, I know people are getting sick and many have gone to heaven. Gone to heaven? How do you know? What are you, five? What are you? Gone to heaven? What are you, you don't want to baby? Say, you you this dumb, is why, stupid this baby. This is why she said it like that. Because she didn't want to say many people have died. Right. Because if you come out and you say, say people have died, died, then the threat is she, real. She spins it. She spins it. It's like Talk about a heaven. manipulation. You're trying to say, oh, many people have just gone to heaven. Yeah. You know, it's a minor inconvenience. They've, they got to heaven earlier than ascended. they thought they were. They've they ascended. ascended. Can it's you a ple- that's the most pleasant way to say 200,000 people went to heaven. Instead because of-, of reckless and stupid behavior by our government, which we found out this past week, they knew about it on February 7th and still did nothing about it and downplayed it. Right. So you, Carrie Walsh Jennings, you are reckless. Yeah. You are a role model to young women and girls and other people. You are, are manipulative. the manipulator. Yep. You need to be called out. And then came the backlash, okay? She got tons of people, including her own sister. Yeah, when your own sister is like, this woman's a D-back. Who's not even calling you. She's commenting on your post. By the way, your own sister is probably like, thank God. Now everyone can see what, what a, I've been what saying an forever. asshole this person has so, been. So uh, she said, come on, Carrie, you're better than this. Yeah. Shame by your own sister. Hey, by the way, and I'll say this to her sister. No, she's not. She's not better than this. Just because she has a gold medal. Ty Cobb is in the Hall of Fame. You understand? Yeah. Just because you're good at sport. Roger Clemens had the stats to be in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. He just was too much of an asshole to even make it in there. Right. So on social media, sister nailed her. Okay. Yeah. Of course, then she apologized without apologizing of course. to her fans uh, who were upset by her actions and putting it out there. She made all about people saying she can't have another opinion than them. That's what she said. You're wrong. You're Masks. Wrong. Don't save everyone's life. They literally, all they do, I'm just telling you this, is put a layer of protection between you and someone else's vapors. And it's what undeniable. we just and what we just said might even be it might even be more beneficial than we think. Okay? So no one is saying you can't have an opinion. People are pointing out how your opinion is dumb and dangerous. And why dangerous. Don't you, why don't you show us then how to come back from that? How to apologize for making the wrong decision. So are you fighting against seatbelts? Are you fighting against condoms for people who don't want to get pregnant? Yeah. Uh, other things? Are you uh, other things that protect Seatbelt us? isn't going to protect everybody. Sometimes crashes kill people. And sometimes I guess those people go to heaven, according to you. But the point is that like you still put a seatbelt on because things, it protects you. Things that have been implemented in our society to try to make us safer are not attempts to infringe on your freedom. When you put a seatbelt on, do you say to yourself, ah, oh, that's the government oh, take. Oh, that's breaking take my freedom. When you fly, Carrie Walsh Jennings, okay, maybe I- I I'm they tell you to put the seat back up just a little bit. Are you like, this is the government? Quit. You're ruining my freedoms. When they tell you to take your shoes off and put them through and walk through a metal detector, you're like, stop taking away my nobody, freedoms. Nobody, I got news to you, Carrie Walsh Jennings, nobody gives a shit about your freedoms. No. All right? Nobody, nobody cares enough to take them away from you. Right. Nobody cares enough about them to make Americans docile. No one wants to control your mind by slowly forcing you to do little things like wear a mask for no reason. What? It's simple science and you're an idiot for denying it. Put publicly. it in volleyball terms for her. All right. Please. You return to serve mm-hmm. weekly mm-hmm. at high just over the net and you're shocked that people are spiking it down your throat. Come on, lady. Take You just got, you just got slammed and you got basically embarrassed. And just because you have a gold medal, again, I'll come back to this. It doesn't mean you have all the answers to anything. Side out backlash. You got spiked on. You got, you got school, dunked man. on. And now here you are trying to make sense of it. You were shocked that people did it. Well, we're going to call you out for it. I'm yep. sorry. You have the balls I'm not sorry. and the cojones. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. Uh, to no. quote our buddy Will Arnett. Not, sorry. Not, not sorry. sorry. Boom. To quote Ariana Grande. Sorry, not sorry. There you go. All right. That's our first story. Let's take a break. We'll take a break. When we come back, we have the best Halloween costume of the year, if Halloween is even happening. I don't know if it's happening, but stick Stay around. with us. It's Scarborough Country, the virus edition. Don't go anywhere. Set. Go. Set. Go. All right, guys. Welcome back to the show. I uh, want to remind people... We're coming up on it fast. We got a lot about a week and a half. Town, September 26th. Uh, it's going to be amazing. Mike Doty from uh, Soul Coughing Play Music. Mike Berbiglia. He's one of the best comedians out there. One of our favorite people. He loves to riff. He's such a good dude. I, I just love hanging with him. This is going to be a really fun one. Uh, I know Dan's got some green leaves. I don't know if there's going to be one that makes its way in there. He's got a couple. So it is, he's digging up the stories. It is going to be great. We had so much fun with everyone last time. Uh, here's the deal. All the VIP tickets are sold out uh, for the post show, but there are about 24 
Uh, VIP pre-shows left if you want to come for that hang. Uh, there's only about 10 general admission tickets left. Then uh, it's all Ticket Plus. It's a Ticket Plus and couples tickets and some group tickets left too. But get them now. Go to eventbrite.com. Look up Live Down People Town September 26th. Get there for that. It's going to be a blast. Uh, also, our YouTube page. We just put up a first episode of Cheap Seats back up. It is so good. Go back and rewatch it. Watch with the ads. That really helps us out. Um, and subscribe to the page and let people know about it so they can see it too. We're going to keep putting up new episodes of Cheap Seats just so we can collect them on there and you can watch that. You ready? Let's do it. All right. So Halloween is coming. It's mid-September. And we're already, we're actually, we're already talking about the holidays. Okay. That's where we're at right now. People are so like, they've jumped past the election. They know it's going to be a total shit show. They're mm-hmm. like, just get me to Christmas. Get me to Hanukkah. Get me, me to the time of the year when I'm most suicidal. Right. Or when I'm just. That's a break. From when this. I'm suicidal and buying flat screen TVs. Right. That's essentially it. Mm-hmm. People are like, let's get there. And if people are talking about Christmas, we're talking about Christmas. We're talking about Christmas. Then you got to be talking about Halloween. Not Halloween, not Halloween, not no. the holiday that I wait for. Yeah. We talk about we talk about Christmas. Okay. So, here's what I want to talk about with Halloween. All right. Remember when we were kids, the thing that we were most afraid of as kids and legitimately worried was that our parents warned us about was getting apples with razor blades in it. That was the thing. Now, I swear to God. Think about think about what a crazy pins, conspi- right? conspiracy theory that was to believe in. I mean, Today we live in QAnon land, so everybody, it's everything nice. is conspiracy. It, but it was theory. crazy at the time because you're like, are you trying to topple the Apple industry? Uh, here, here's what I want you to do. I want you to think about how that could have been executed. A man, probably an unkempt middle-aged man who is suffering from severe shell shock from whatever war he went to, right? right? And that he was dishonorably discharged from. He, he, goes, has, he goes to a grocery store. Buys right? bushels of apples. Buys enough to like feed a whole apples, neighborhood. More. Like, more than 100. 200 apples, okay? That shouldn't set off any alarms for anybody who's working at the and grocery store, right? boxes of razor blades. Right? Then he buys the exact same amount of razor blades, okay? Maybe double, okay? He buys the same amount of razor blades. Drops them down just maybe with some Orbit gum down on the thing. Wait, That's wait, but, but like then he would have to get the razor blades. Then he goes blade. home and he figures out a way to get the razor blades blade up into the apples so that when you bite in- it, No, so that when you see it, you don't see a giant cut in the no, apple. No, it's, it's somehow the it would skin only, he is would almost have to He would almost have to cut the apple yeah, open. yeah. yeah. And then somehow seal, seal, it, seal back it back together, together so that it doesn't reopen. He's got to do that 200 times. And then- he will happily hand kids who go up to his house for some reason an apple, something that no kid ever wants and no kid ever expects to get. Also, the easiest thing in the world for the authorities to track. Two, who's the guy who gave you the apple? That Old guy man Wilson that. right there. Well, <laughs> right. he's gone. So then you bite into him and I guess you die from a mouth infection. Like no one ever got no, past- No, you just cut your mouth. No, but no one ever got past the what happens after you bite. Right. I mean, yeah, you cut I guess it slices your tongue off. You never talk again. I don't I, know I what it is. No idea. But that was the old warning. That right. was- That was the thing we all were afraid of. Such a thing like, how many times did it happen in order for all of us to know in a non-internet setting? That is a passed along story. That well, you say all of us to know. That's you and me. I assume no. that's out there. It is out. I'm assume that was People a myth, knew an that. urban myth. It as spread it like it spread like a pandemic in yes. ni- in the 19 early 1980s parenting communities, and we yes. never saw it happen ever. Right, ever in our lives, we never saw it happen. No, we didn't. It happened to no one we knew, and yet that was our biggest fear on Halloween. So nobody Correct. died from it, but now if your kids go trick or treating in your neighborhood without masks on and they're not socially distanced, they could die. Right. Let's just be honest. Like they could, or come home and kill your parents, your yes. grandparents, yes. right? The yes. grandparents, That's right? Far worse than a razor blade and an apple, even if that was happening. They can get way more than just a fun size snicker. Like you're. All the candy is going to have to come down and just be like douched. Right. Just completely like doused. Doused just with dropped into chemical, a into a vat Lysol of chemical, vat. into yeah. a vat of chemicals, and it's going to taste like Lysol. How fun is that for Halloween this Yay. year? Right. The stakes are actually so much higher than razor blades and apples. So will there be a Halloween this year? They talked about canceling it in, in California. I think it's canceled in LA. Nope. I think they they, they walk on? that back a little bit. So they may do it. There might be a way to do it if you do it in the right way. And my kids do not want it to be canceled. They love Halloween so much. They love getting dressed up and putting blood on their face. They love gorging themselves on candy. Oh, my kids love and that. they love- I love that. Being out with thousands of people. By the way, two of those things will probably kill you. Right. Okay? So, and actually, none of those things are okay. Right. But two of them are approved. Mm-hmm. 
So we don't know what California is going to do. All I know is I got my costume this year. Whether or not it happens, I've got my costume. Here it is. Are you ready for Let's this? Let's get into it. Yep. And that to me is like 80% of the battle, finding the costume. When you know what it's, when the when you have that moment where you're like, I know what I'm I'm holding. Be. It's in my pocket. It's the best feeling. Tampa, Florida. Unless you've been living under a rock this past year, you're probably well aware that 2020 is the year of the Karen. That is the Chinese symbol of the year. It's the like year, the year of the rat. It's, well, it's but worse. the year of a, a loud mouth rat. Right. Okay. A white rat. And a Los Angeles based artist is capitalizing off the character's national infamy this Halloween. Jason Adcock is selling two versions of the Karen mask on Adcock. Etsy, calling them the scariest thing you can be on Halloween. And I, I think it. he's right, Jay. I think I he really is. I really right. do. I think he is. This right. is pure horror. Yeah. If you think about it in some way, if you are a door greeter at Costco, yeah. if you are a, a customer service person at Walmart and you see this woman coming your way, you're like, my day for the next, for the next several hours it's over it's the worst day ever i'm gonna have to call the authorities this person's gonna complain about something they are the worst Mm -hmm. all right it's scary you will scream like you've just seen i don't know like your body's being eaten by cujo there have been countless memes and tiktok videos dedicated to the name karen which has been used to describe white middle class women who thought to be acting entitled usually while dealing with people of color or customer service i think karen needs to be the word this year's word that gets added to the Urban Dictionary. I think it will. I think it already has. Right? Don't you feel like that word has been used more this year than any other year? And yes. it's literally entered the vocabulary in a way that, like, right. I, I can't even remember right. a word that has, like, I guess, remember with the what's up? Mm-hmm. The, as one word, like that, I guess, entered it mm-hmm. a while ago. Yep. So this LA artist is going to sell, in my opinion, a buttload of Karen masks. Oh, yeah, for sure. A buttload of butt-ugly Karen masks. These masks are made out of latex and feature a personal paint job, styled hair, and lashes. One is covered in warts. That's good. Mm-hmm. I'm sure the expression is anger mixed with contempt, wi- mixed with an unrealistic fear. Right. Right? That's like, the thing? That It looks terrified. Sculpted, molded, cast, painted, and finished myself. Vision slits above the eyes and additional vents in the mouth and nose and ears. Vision slits does sound racist. Am I right? Yeah. It also sounds like misogynistic the guy really did his homework can you imagine though someone ordering the mask getting it delivered by an african-american ups person and then calling the cops that that person is trying to steal the thing off their porch and and he's wearing the he's wearing a ups uniform he's not he's dropping it off yeah calling 911 on a ups driver or if the mask doesn't fit right, the artist is expecting a lot of people to contact him, wanting to speak to his manager. Right. He's like, I'm the only one doing this. Dude, there you're opening no up a Pandora's box of problems with this of thing. Karen, okay. Mess Karen with the issues. Karens. You're going to get her bump it. Yeah. All right. Mask is one size fits all. He said, I have a large head and it fits me. If the mask is too big, you can glue a bit of sponge inside to the top. Adcock wrote the description. And that's where Adcock, in my opinion, is underestimating the Karens who are going to order this thing. Dummy. He's going to get hammered. Am I right? He's, if it doesn't fit right, first of all, be, he's too small of an operation to try and do this. You Should said one size fits all. How big do you think my head is? That's what it's going to be. Yeah, well, ma'am, I we don't know how big your head is. Well, isn't it that your job to know? Like, these are the things he's going to have. Comes. Here Why comes are you so racist heat. against white people? I'm yeah. not. Here Adcock's comes. like, I'm not racist against Oof. white people, ma'am. Oof. We'll make you a smaller one. And will you pay for my shipping? No. Ah, God, God stop. God damn it, Karen. A number of, quote, Karens made headlines this year, including Central Park Karen, Amy Cooper, who went viral after calling the cops on a black man in New York City, San Francisco Karen, who called the police on a man who was writing a Black Lives Matter sign in chalk in front of his own home. More information about these masks is available. They will set you back $180 each. Wow. That's a lot. Do you think Midwest Midwest people who look like this would buy this? No way. $180? No. It's the best costume ever. It's right? a really good one. The, but hands down. Of course, it should come with a mask that she never, it, it, it should come with a mask that she never puts on. Like, I can't believe as we enter into, I think, hurricane season down south, there isn't a Hurricane Karen. The, or they all should be named that. No, Hurricane Karen only destroys Walmarts yep. and Costcos in the southeastern Texas mm-hmm. area. Hurricane is really hard to deal with. Mm-hmm. Uh, it gains steam when you try and stop it. Right. You try and confront it. Right. Hurricane Karen's path of destruction is unpredictable. It's out of control. Hurricane Karen is the only hurricane uh, in history that feels like it's the victim. Right. 
Like right. I, I just, just, I just leveled three towns in Louisiana. But, but, but I need help. I need. Why are people mad at me? It's the only hurricane. Why am I the bad guy? It's the only hurricane in history that calls nine one one. Right. On a multicultural neighborhood for being caught up in its path. And Hurricane Karen gets super mad when she gets downgraded to a tropical storm. Right. Why are you? Why are you disrespecting How you? me? How dare you downgrade me to? You're a tropical devaluing storm. me. I think it brings this whole thing full circle. Agreed. No this costume yet. should come with a plastic apple and a razor blade. Razor blade coming back in out the of it. Coming out of the like middle. Like she just found it in her kid's thing and she's going to march right back up to this guy's door. And she's going to make his life a living hell. Give him a piece of her full circle Karen mind. Yes. She's an emotional hurricane inflicting irreversible damage everywhere she goes. Agreed. Hurricane Karen. And that's a show. There you go. Thank you, guys. That is a show. Uh, stay connected. Stay protected. Don't get infected. We will see you guys tomorrow. We love you. This is not a hoax. But we got the jokes. Put on a mask, everybody. That means you, Carrie Walsh Jennings. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. la ti da la ti da la ti da la ti da